The undercard can be pretty complicated when you start using a logical standby as you'd at a warehouse, particularly if you, when you start adjusting your partitioning and indexing the materialized views in the logical standby. Very good, it gets quite complicated. Snapshot standbys, the systems you use for development, testing, QA. Then there is the real-time query standby. Unfortunately, you have to pay for that with the active data guard option. But with sufficient skill in the configuration, we can offload all the query workload from your primary database to the real-time query database. Terrific performance enhancements become possible there. Then there are cascading standbys, very complicated in earlier releases. But with 12C, the fast sync cascading standby simplifies things quite a lot and makes it a lot more feasible to use. But all of that can get very complicated. What we want to go through today is the basic physical standby functionality, that fantastic technology that we can use to enable zero data loss in any circumstances. Now, from what I hear on the internet websites, the blogs and things, there's a lot of a lot of people will have you believe that physical standbys are very complicated to set up, but not really. It's actually conceptually quite simple. And I'm going to see if I can take us through doing it in just a few minutes.